What you're saying people, back with a bang. This is The Money Management, back with another video for you guys today. Now of course it is Monday and that means just like every Monday, I'm here to bring you guys your Monday motivation for this week. And today's topic is to be productive this week. So in today's video, I'll explain a few things that you can do to make sure you're productive this week. And also I'll explain some things which are probably stopping you from being productive without you guys knowing. Now, before we get into that today, I do wanna say this upcoming week, one thing you guys need to make sure you do is subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Just hit that button below. It won't cost you a thing. It will not cost you, it will not cause you to be unproductive, none of that. Just make sure you subscribe if you're new around here if you're not subscribed yet. Also, please make sure to like these videos. That's part of being productive. Give me these videos a thumbs up, as well as commenting. Commenting is part of your productivity. The moment you comment, you're gonna feel that productivity increasing you. So just try it out first and then get back to me. Lastly, but not least, please make sure we're sharing these videos with our friends, get them out to more people, help out more people, help more people become productive, understand what they could be doing wrong, what they might be doing wrong, why they could be unproductive. And again, just hopefully motivate a lot more people this upcoming week. So now let's dive into what you guys can do this week to make sure you guys are productive. Because just like every Monday, like I said, I'm here to motivate you guys. So I'm telling you guys to be productive. So this is your warning, this is your reminder, this is what's gonna kick off your week. You need to make sure you're productive this week. So when it comes to whatever you do with your time, be productive. You know, there are a lot of people out here who would waste your time. And I'm gonna tell you guys that. There are lots of people who want to waste your time. Now the reason being, some of them are bored, some of them want you to waste your time, some of them have nothing to do, some of them just don't know they're wasting your time. Either way, you need to make sure that you do not let people waste your time because you're gonna come across a lot of people who waste your time without you knowing, a lot of times without you knowing. Time is literally money. That's all I have to say about that matter. Now I'm actually gonna give you a few different things you can actually do to help you be productive this week. So the first one I wanna give you is set yourself some goals, some small daily tasks. It can be a list of three to five things per day. It can be a list of three to five things for the whole week, but set those small goals and hit them this week. Focus on one sole thing. Focus on one thing at a time. So don't try and multitask. Don't try and do a few different things. Focus purely on one thing. So if you know you have to read 25 pages of your book, read those 25 pages. Forget about your phone, forget about all that kind of stuff. Do what you need to do, but focus on one thing at a time. Be productive this week. And that brings me on to the next point, which I want to talk about, distractions. Get rid of all distractions. There are so many different distractions out there. There are physical distractions like your phone, you know, your laptop, your PlayStation. But there are also distractions that you don't realize are distractions, like your notifications, your emails. You know, a lot of the time we get emails on our phone, you know, checking our email, you know, that's something I do common. Just check my email. That's a distraction, you know, especially checking your notifications as well, because your notification pop up, checking what's been said, you know, sometimes you don't even have a notification. You start checking, looking to see if you had a notification. Stop doing that. Get rid of distractions. You want to just complete specific tasks and you want to be productive this week, get rid of distractions. Ignore them. Just get them out of your way. If it makes it easier for you, Turn off your phone. You know, there are many different ways to get rid of your distractions. Everyone has different distractions. You know, for, for you, you are trying to go on a diet or be more disciplined when it comes to how you eat, get rid of your distractions, which means get rid of that bad food. You know, diminish that junk food, whatever you need to do, just stop letting those distractions take hold of you. Also have a routine. Routines really do help. If you know every morning, you know, you do yoga, every evening you read 10 pages of your book, you will continue to do so. And when you get in the habit of doing it, it makes everything easier. It makes being productive a lot more easy. Also, if it helps you to be productive, something I like to do to become productive and be more productive is plan my specific day. That's part of, you know, having my routine set. That's part of knowing what I'm going to do one thing at a time. Blocking out, you know, a couple hours here, a couple hours there to do this kind of thing. You know, and also during all of this kind of thing, it's also important to take breaks. Take breaks, you know, take a step back sometimes. You know, I know I always, you know, sound like I'm go, 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 but it's not always the case. You do need to take breaks to be productive. Remember the idea here is being productive. It's not because you're doing 25 things in a day and starting a load of different projects that you're productive. No, you might be busy, but you're not productive. You need to understand the difference. Be productive. So from all the things I just mentioned, you know, it, it, they all go together really. Having a small set of tasks you wanna do daily, but make, make sure you focus on one thing at a time. And then in order to do those things, you know when you're gonna do them. You know, I'm gonna do this at three to 5 p.m. because I'm most productive then. I'm gonna do this in the morning because I do this every morning and it makes it easier for me. I get out of the way. You know, you have reasons you want to do things. You do things because you know you need to do them and you do things because you have to do them. You know, you don't want to overwhelm yourself. So you set time where you're going to take breaks. You take a break every 45 minutes for 15 minutes. But for those of you who like taking breaks, something I used to do was, you know, work for 30 minutes, take an hour break. That is not how you increase productivity. You want to be productive, make a schedule, set a schedule, block out time, but also take your breaks. Take those, you know, little power breaks in between. Those five minutes, those 10 minute segments. They can help you a lot. And most importantly for all of this, the, the main thing you need to do, if you really want to be productive this week, is be disciplined, stay disciplined. It's all well and good starting today, being good with it, you know, setting out how you're going to plan your day, doing everything, getting it done, and tomorrow comes around, you don't complete, you know, even one of your five tasks, you don't do anything, you just feel overwhelmed. There's no point doing that. You've got to be consistent. But the good thing is when you're consistently productive, 
You're closer and closer to your goals. You're pushing yourself closer to your goals. You're taking that step, those steps to getting close to your goals and dreams. You're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. But all it takes is that consistency. And that's also why I say be reasonable with your to-do list. There have been times in the past that I've set a to-do list of 10, 15 things to accomplish in a day. And maybe it hasn't been possible to complete those things. Once you only complete four or five of those things, it just messes with your head, it messes with your energy levels. You just feel like doing it. You feel like you've not accomplished anything. When in reality, you would have been better off putting down five things and smashing all five things out of the way. You would have been better off putting down three things to do for the week and you can accomplish those three things. That's what I'm saying again. This week, be productive. So be smart with whatever list you create. Be smart with your to-do list. Be smart with your time. Don't let people waste your time. There are a lot of people who are going to waste your time. You know, this week, today, tomorrow, many weeks for, and many other weeks going forward. It's a part of life. You know, you're going to come across these people. But don't let them take your time. Don't let them waste your time. You know, I used to think it was a, you know, weird when people said time is money. And I thought, why is everyone saying this? You know, why are people trying to sound like this? But when you think about it and it comes down to it and you start to really pursue goals and try and do things and become successful, you really understand why time is money, why people do say that. So don't let people waste your time. That is another thing which, you know, message your energy levels. So block out all the negativity, keep those bad people away from you. Because your energy levels are really an important factor when it comes to how productive you are. They do play a big part in, you know, how well you do, how successful you are. You know, your energy levels. If you feel down on time and demotivated and unhappy, it is not going to help you when it comes to pursuing other things. You might be annoyed at the situation and it slowly starts to affect other areas of your life. You can't let that happen. That comes from the people you hang around with, the energy you let into your life, the people you let influence you, the people you talk to. That comes from so many different angles. If people are draining you, stop letting them drain you because it's affecting your productivity. These are all small little tips, small little things which are take a toll and play their role when it comes to how productive you are. Now the good thing is, once you do discover how to be more productive and you actually you know, attain those levels of productivity, you realize just how quickly you can accelerate your process, how much better off you are, and overall how you can actually go past your limits. You, know, you can push yourself to your limit when you learn how to be productive and you stay focused. You know, there are so many distractions in this day and age. As you guys know, we have the mobile phone. Now, this thing here has so many distractions, you know, social media, email again, you know, texting, calling, keeping up with people, keeping up with what's going on, the news. There are so many distractions. But what makes it even worse is outside of this, there are even more distractions. In this day and age, we have Netflix, we have Hulu, we have the internet, we have our laptops, we have, you know, it's so, the whole internet is so accessible. Everybody's so accessible in this day and age. So, you know, you might even find yourself online shopping for hours when you're not even going to buy anything. All of these are distractions. The moment you get rid of these distractions and you focus on what you want to do, you know, you know, eight hours a day, you're working. Another two hours a day, you know, you're driving to and from work, you're traveling to and from work, or listen to podcasts. You get home, you're taking notes. You know, when you start to do these kind of things, it makes it easier to push away the distractions. But the moment you open up your phone, you just log onto Instagram, you go on Snapchat, you start scrolling through stories, you're losing time, you're wasting your own time. So forget about other people wasting your time, you're wasting your own time, which is even worse. But the good thing is, all you need to do is get that phone, switch it off. Know that between, you know, maybe 6 p.m. and 10 p.m., you're not going to focus on your phone. Maybe after 10 p.m., maybe 10 p.m. to 11 p.m., you're going to spend your time, your social media time, you know, scrolling through TikTok, watching other people's videos. Maybe you'll spend that time. But before you've got everything you need to do done, don't bother. You know, you're holding yourself back. You're, you might be, think you're busy, you might think you're doing something, but you're not being productive, which again is the main aim, the main message for this week. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's message. Hopefully you guys go out this week and be productive. I can't stress that enough. Be productive. Be more productive than you usually are. Don't just be focused on being busy. Don't make a to-do list of 20 things, but be productive with it. You know, pick out what you want to do and smash your targets. Pick out what you have to do each day and get it done. It's as simple as that this week. Again, I want to say thank you guys so much for the support. You guys have helped me be productive and keep uploading a video each and every day. It is not easy, you know, editing, clipping a video, making a video, uploading a video, making thumbnails, all that kind of stuff. It isn't that easy, but you guys make it worth it, so I'll continue to do so. Make sure you guys check out all the links in the description. We've got free online guide to business, the first thing in the description. We've also got free cryptocurrency and free stocks for you. If you sign up through Robinhood and Coinbase, those links are again in the description below. Also, make sure to check out my smartwatch company, Time Gear Watches. We've got watches for men, women, kids, all kind of watches. Go check them out. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys go out and have a productive week. But that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching. I've got one to make it. You've got productivity to keep going out with. See you guys tomorrow for another video. Peace.